I hope you followed my lead uh, of several months ago and invested in Skywater Technologies. If you watched the market uh, just on Thursday, you saw they were up 47%, approaching 50% in one day. Well, why is that? Well, they were an undervalued stock. As you can see on this chart, they've been as high as $37 per share. But as the uh, semiconductor business fall that fell out of favor because of the back off of electric vehicles, they were pulled right down along with it, even though that is not really a big part of their market. They're also in competition with some ba major players such as Taiwan Semiconductor, uh, more s smaller global foundries, United Microelectronics Corporation. So as they moved, so moved Skywater. But Skywater is in a little different place. They, they're in, involved in what they call advanced technology services. And the way I understand this, and, and, and I can relate to it, is let's assume that uh, we compare this to, uh, I want to buy some new jeans. Uh, I have a number of choices. One, one would be to go to Walmart and uh, pick up a pair of jeans and, and, and uh, wear them from there. That would be comparable in my mind to going to Taiwan Semiconductor. Then I could probably go to, say, Macy's or someplace like that that has maybe a little bit more variety or a little up, upgrade. And I would say that would be Global Foundries. Or I could go downtown and I could go to a tailor and the tailor could measure my uh, legs and the size of my butt and, and make them fit real good. So you know that my butt, the pants and my butt doesn't hang. You, you know what I'm talking about. So I would, pay, but I would pay more. Well, that's exactly what Skywater Technologies is. They have two foundries, one's up in uh, Minnesota, the other one's down in Florida. And so if I'm, and they specialize in, in basically the aerospace, defense, medical, and industrial markets. So, so if I'm in that market and I need a specialized semiconductor that fits my needs perfectly, this is the foundry I would go to. They are, I would say, the architects and they, they operate a little differently. If I go to Taiwan Semiconductor, I'm going to buy uh, whatever they have, what they have on the shelf. Okay. So, but Skywater doesn't have anything on the shelf. You come with your design and with your need, and maybe you've got an architect uh, and they sit down with you and say, okay, we will work with you and we will buy the equipment and, and uh, build this semiconductor as you need it into the future. And thus they create a very close relationship. This and, and they make the buyer finance up front their, their work. So this increases their profit margins dramatically. Again, much the same as a, a tailor. He won't do the volume of, uh, of uh, Walmart or Target or even Macy's, but he will make a higher percentage or gross margin and net margin than they will on the work they do because they're specialized. The other thing that they do is they then thus create a very tight relationship. So as those semiconductors for the, the very specific matters need to be upgraded or changed, they're going to come back to Skywater. So that's basically the difference, and that's where they fit into this semiconductor ecosystem. So what, what happened yesterday was uh, as a result of their earnings call, and I, I monitored their earnings call, they had an extremely good quarter. And then beyond that, they're projecting that their, their earnings are going to grow substantially. Here's, here's their earnings projections. And as you can see, in uh, 2024, they're projecting that they're going to lose $0.08 cents per share. But then they're going to have a total turnaround in 2025, and they'll be making $0.08 cents per share. And then in 2026, that'll grow to 28 and then in 2027, that will grow to 46 cents per share. So that's what the market woke up to yesterday, that this company has got a niche. It is the tailor, the specialty tailor 
in the, um, in, in the uh, uh, semiconductor field. They're in the United States. They deal with the defense market. Uh, they deal with aerospace. They deal with medical and manufacturing. And these are all things we want to keep onshore or move to onshore. And the market woke up and said, hey, this is something we need to be uh, aware of. And that's why the stock went up. So then what I do is I have created an algorithm that says, Okay, based on what I know and what I know from the past, what is the price of this stock going to be in the future? And so what I do is I, I, I have some metrics that I use and I, I look at what is called the DCF. It is the discounted present value of the company's future cash flow. And that's, that, that comes as a number. And I use a discount value of 10%. Then I uh, look at comparable companies as to what their value is, values are and what their PE ratios are and compare it to that, which uh, 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 again, right now, Skywater doesn't have a PE ratio because they're projecting a negative eight cents and there is no multiple on a negative number. So, and then I do a growth rate analysis uh, to estimate the future growth rates. And I use what I just showed you, um, their projected growth rate. And so I come up with a number that equates to the future value of the stock. So it closed yesterday at uh $8.26. I project it's going to end the year at $9.91. And then it will grow by another 20%. And these are conservative estimates because again, as you can see, they're showing their growth in 2025 to go from a minus eight to a positive eight. That's more than 100%. I would say that's about a, a 200%. And then they're showing in 2026 from uh, eight cents to 28, that's 233%. So my, my estimates of 20% growth is very, very, very conservative. And again, recognize they don't, they have much better margins, uh, on their, on their product as opposed to Taiwan Semiconductor or someone else. So conservatively, I'm saying the price of the stock is going to be in 2029, $24.66 or round off to $25. That's how I analyze stocks. That's how, and, and again, how do I know this? Well, I can only analyze so many stocks because it's only me. Okay. I realize or recognize that the growth, the big growth in our future is all wrapped around this semiconductor in this AI world. And so I look for what I look for in, in how I found uh, Skywater. I look for depressed stocks. There are a number of them and they're on my cheat sheet. And I'll show you here. This is where I track the, on, and, and make available to my subscribers um, my projections for 24, 25, and 26, what the price of the stock's going to be. And it's a result of the analysis that I've just done. I've created an algorithm to do that. So it's, it's done mechanically. So what my, my, my hope is and what I'm striving to do is to get access to one of Jay Jensen's GPUs so that can all be done for the entire stock market in, in a click of a button. And therefore, uh, I will be able to put out a cheat sheet and say, I don't care what industry it is in, but based on my algorithm, these are the stocks that are going to give you the best performance over the next two and a half to three years. W is that possible? Yes. It is uh, from my interpretation of what Mark Zuckerberg and Jensen Wong has told me, they are going to make an AI agent available to me. I won't have, I thought I'd have to have my own server. Uh, we've got some issues we've, we're resolving, we're negotiating. Uh, they're going to have access to all of my data and then I'm going to have access to their compute power and they're going to do with a computer and, and AI what I do individually and, and duplicate what I've done in finding um, Skywater. I also recognize that, recognize that this is going to change business entirely. This is going to, I don't know 
where software now fits into this. I don't, I can't imagine a piece of software that I personally would buy for my business to replace what I believe Meta is going to provide to me or, or Google. I believe that I will wake up some morning and rather than me decide that I'm going to do a, a video on Skywater technology, my, 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 my AI will tell me, based on the performance of Skywater yesterday and the earnings call that they had two days ago, Kerry, I have created a script for you on Skywater technology, and I've also written an article for you that you can share, and I'm going to share the article that I did write for you on my website. The link will be there in the description. You go and read this and understand how I did this. But eventually, my AI is going to do it for me. Shortly after that, my AI is going to say, oh, Kerry, uh, I took your lead on Skywater and I did the video for you. And I will lo open up my computer and I'll see what I am seeing, what I'm showing you right now. I'll see me as an avatar who will move like I move, who will, who will have the same voice, the same inflections that I have, and the video will be done. And then, and then my, my avatar, not my avatar, my, my agent will say, oh, and it's, it's about a 15 minute video and I've broken it down into shorts and you've got about seven short videos that you can now put up on uh, YouTube shorts and you can, you can put them up on Instagram and, and uh, X, formerly known as Twitter. And oh, you can also put them on TikTok and LinkedIn. And, and, and then shortly after that, I, she won't even tell me that. She'll say, I did it for you. That's what's going to happen to my business. That's what's going to happen in some realm to all businesses. So as I said in yesterday's video, there's three companies, Amazon, Google, and Meta, who are NVIDIA's biggest customers. They have recognized that this democratization of compute is going to change all business because they're going to reach into my data and run my business for me. I, I, I know protection of my intellectual property. There's a price at which I'll I won't worry about it. I compared it yesterday in my video. Someone comes knocking on my door here in Birmingham and says, hey, we want to buy the oil rights for your property. Okay, so do you believe there's oil under my property? We really don't know. We don't know, but we think there might be. And we want to pay you so much per month as long as we believe, as long as we have the rights to the oil under your property. Now, I have a choice at that point. I can take their money, I can negotiate a price, or I can go and say, okay, I'm going to become an oil company myself. And I'm going to find out if there's oil there. And if there is, I'm going to drill it and I'm going to produce it and I'm going to pipe it. No, no, I have an asset here. It's, it's my company, it's my data. And if Meta wants to partner with me to grow my company, to provide this service, why wouldn't I do it? Maybe, maybe I get shares of Meta in exchange for it. I become a, one of Mark's partners. Why wouldn't I do Why wouldn't any business in the world say, if these people can take me from a, a $300,000 business to a $6 billion business in a matter of 10 years, why wouldn't I do it? I don't know. I don't know. But I'll let you know once we get done with our negotiations. This is Skywater. Go to my website, Best of Us Investors. In fact, I'll give you a link in the description that'll take you directly to this article. And you must read this article because what you're going to learn is what Skywater is all about. But you're also going to learn how Kerry and his bot, how his agent will be analyzing all the stocks in the stock market probably within a year. And you're going to want to be a part of that. You're going to want to be able to go to Kerry's cheat sheet and say, 
what are the best stocks for me to buy based on the analysis that I believe in? And if you don't believe in it, then you aren't going to buy it. But this is where this is going. And the first guy there wins. Talk to you more about this in the future. This is exciting.